Um, I'm going to introduce next Audrey Tormey. Audrey is a French and Spanish teacher, and she currently teaches Braille literacy, English, and self-advocacy, among other modules, in NCBI's Rehabilitation Training Centre in Drumcondra. Um, Audrey's been blind since uh, childbirth uh, due to re retinoblastoma, chance it. And with a lifetime of experience, she has been an advocate for the rights of people for all over those years. She's a particular, Audrey's particular interest in, in, in equal participation for all citizens, and especially campaign for the secret ballot, ballot, ballot voting for people who are blind, as well as equal access to education, environment, <coughs> education, and transport, and to be able to move around independently and safely. I thank you all.
there would be a national outcry. <laughs> and Joe Duffy would have a field day. <laughs> because people couldn't read it. Well, that's how it is for us. But the outcry isn't national. And nobody seems to be listening. I will now move on to access to the environment and moving around independently and safely. Illegal parking is the bane of my life. It's wrong both morally and legally. And what it means for me is that by not enforcing the law, my country is saying to me that my safety isn't as important than or as anyone else's. And that a driver's need to park or abandon their car on the footpath is more important than my safety or my need to get from A to B. A few years ago, I was walking home using my cane and I came across a car that was on the footpath. I had to go out onto the road into traffic with buses and cars passing, so I couldn't get past the car and continue my journey home. <coughs> when getting back on the footpath, I went by the front of the illegally parked car. I hit my left leg against the fender. This resulted in injury, hospitalization, and ulceration that lasted months. Eventually, having got an injury, I had to have the vein removed. On other occasions, I have encountered cars with four wheels parked on the path. And at this stage, I keep the numbers of the various guard stations on my phone. During one such phone call, after I got off the bus in town, I asked the guard if the car could be removed from the footpath. And he said he wasn't sure how long it would take. He told me that I'd be better off throwing the clampers, the refs, rather than the garden station. Overgrown branches and broken footpaths are causing a significant hazard for those of us who are independently mobile and moving around. I'm told that paths are the responsibility of the councils, but somehow, they are not given priority. At some level, it doesn't matter if I or another person with impaired vision falls over on a damaged footpath. At some level, we as citizens don't currently count. And my hope is that through the CRPD, actions will begin that will at least <coughs> indicate that we matter. Busy junctions with no audible lights because they are not being maintained are an ongoing problem. Developments such as one being proposed for the city centre are a concern because I and many others like me will no longer feel safe in an area where I could easily be run over by a bicycle. The impact of this kind of shared space development is that many people who are blind will feel that they have no option but to stop going out. And this will be an infringement on their right to move about like everyone else and to be safe in doing so. Silent cars are becoming an increasing threat to my safety. But hopefully, implementation of an international directive will ensure that there is a sound emanating from these silent killers. Government departments need to realise that as a citizen, I have a right to accessible information. I pay taxes like everybody else. I have constantly to battle to exercise my rights. At this stage, I believe we need the UNCRPD because structures will be put in place in the Department of Justice and pro 
progress will at least be monitored. I don't expect it to happen overnight, but I do expect it to happen. And I do expect the government to ratify the UNCRPD that they signed up to. Implementation, which comes after ratification, is where we will see the real changes. Our constitution refers to cherishing all children <coughs> equally and equality for all citizens. That's not happening for citizens with disabilities. I ask that you please get on with the ratification so implementation can begin. Thank you.